It is April and Easter is quickly approaching and I've been looking for a fun Easter craft or activity to do with the kiddos and I found online a recipe for Peeps Play-Doh. So I think the girls and I are gonna try making it today. Now I have to admit the last time we tried making an edible Play-Doh or an edible slime I should say. How'd it turn out girl? Um, bad, really bad. What was wrong with it? It was <laughs> super sticky. All right, girls, let me pull up the recipe and we'll get started. Okay, girls, I'm gonna have you help me open all of our peeps and we're gonna put them in the bowl. These are so yummy. I know, we have lots of different colors of peeps. To make peeps Play-Doh, you want as many different colors of peeps as you can find. So we found some purple ones, pink ones, yellow ones, and even some blue ones. So we're gonna make four different colors of peeps Play-Doh based on these colors of the peeps. It is a nasty, nasty day outside, so today is a perfect day to be inside doing a craft. It's only like four something, and it looks like it's pitch black outside. It's pouring down rain, there's thunder and lightning in the background, so there's no better day to make our Peeps Play-Doh, I think, than today. I feel like Peeps used to always be like little marshmallow chicks, but now they have bunnies, too. Kinda cute. Kinda cute, it's super cute. <laughs> Which color is your favorite? What, what kind of play do you wanna make? I like, uh, I like pink. Blue. We haven't opened the blue yet. Let's get the blue open now. All right, I'll get this blue open. Whoa! That scared me. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear it on camera, but there was just a giant burst of thunder and it is still going out there. I feel like Peeps are one of those candies that you either love them or you absolutely hate them. I haven't tried a Peep in a couple years, so I'm gonna try one and find out if I like them or I hate them or maybe I'm just indifferent to them. What do you guys think? Can I try one? Yeah, Sounds I'm gonna good. grab a pink one. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Do you love them, Maya? What about you, Addie? Mm, I'm okay with them, but I'm not a huge fan of them. Would you buy them and eat them again is the question. Yes, no. No? No. All right, let's see what I think. Mm. Well, I see I had one bite, from, bite of my peeps and I don't need to take another bite. So I don't necessarily love them, but I am interested to see how this peeps edible Play-Doh turns out. And the recipe really only calls for three ingredients. It calls for peeps, coconut oil, and cornstarch. Now there's also an option to add in food coloring, so I bought some food coloring as well. The Play-Doh should turn out similar to the Peeps color, maybe a little bit lighter. Um, so you can use food coloring if you want to enhance the color and make them a little bit more vibrant. All right girls, so what color of Play-Doh do you want to make first? You can each choose your own color if you want to. Blue, 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 blue. P-I-N-K. All right, so you need five blues and five pink Peeps. Three tablespoons of cornstarch, one to two teaspoons of coconut oil, and food coloring. My peeps are in the bowl. Perfect. You're gonna add one, let's add two teaspoons of coconut oil to yours. So and Addie? Two, yeah, two scoops. You're gonna add three tablespoons okay. of cornstarch to yours, and then you can swap. So okay, three, yes. that's a big teaspoon. <laughs> gonna put them in the microwave for 30 seconds now, and then we'll stir once it comes out of the microwave. Oh my goodness. I put my wait, 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 this is both of ours in, right? Okay. I don't know, let's do one at a time, just to be wait, safe. Wait. I put mine in wait, first. Rock, paper, rock, okay, rock, paper, scissors. Wait, wait, rock, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh my goodness. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. No! <laughs> All right, Maya's goes first. All right, close, <laughs> All right, close it up. I'm really hoping this is not another homemade Play-Doh fail. I have, I have hopes we can do this. And then I think it says if it's still sticky, we can add some more cornstarch to it and see if it helps the stickiness. It looks pretty good. Notice it's kind of a light pink color. Do you want to make it a brighter pink color by adding some food coloring? Yeah. Alright, this is neon pink. Or those are neon colors and there's a neon pink in there. And Addie, yours is looking a little bit better too. Hers is a light blue consistency um, because you figure the outside of the pink is kind of a darker blue but the inside's white so when she stirred it all up the color gets lighter. 
So if you want it to match this color a little bit truer, probably gonna add some blue food coloring to that. Keep in mind this is Play-Doh, it's not slime, so it's not gonna be the slimy consistency, but think of the Play-Doh consistency. It's a little bit thicker and not quite as stretchy, but I think it's looking pretty good. Yeah. I think you're gonna be ready to mix with your hands. You can get it out and kind of knead it. And if you still feel it's a little bit sticky, we'll add a little bit of cornstarch to it. Yeah. Is it a little sticky still? Mm -hmm. Add a tad of cornstarch to it. Ooh, it feels like Play-Doh. <laughs> That's the goal. Mm -hmm. Ooh, on the camera. And look, it looks great. pretty close to the actual peep color. Oh uh, yeah. You got it pretty close, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I bought the peeps at Target and while I was there I also picked up a set of Easter cookie cutters so we can use these to make bunnies, flowers, Easter baskets, butterflies, and all sorts of other Eastery shapes with our new Play-Doh. Let's see how well they work with the peeps. Mine's cutters. feeling like Play-Doh. It's feeling like Play-Doh too? Here's a pink one. Let's see. Ooh, you did pretty good too. Pretty close in color. It is a little red. A tad bit, but I still like it. All right, let's see how it turns out. Two, one, push, push, and now rip, rip, rip. Ooh! <gasps> this is looking good. Okay, I'm gonna take it out. Taking it out, and taking it out, yay! This plate of worked. That is awesome. It works and looks perfect. Now for the other test, this is edible Play-Doh, so you can't eat it, it is safe to eat. But I wonder how it tastes. Ooh. Do you want to give it a try? I'm, I'm right. just eating this much, this much. This when much. I licked it, so you liked it, Maya? What about you? This is better than the normal peeps. It is? <laughs> I mean, like, I could take this on a plane and this would be all my snack. <laughs> mm, this is so good. All right, Maya. Mommy. Give it a good taste. Mm. Thumbs up. Other colors. We've tried yes. the blue and the pink. Wait. We haven't done what color? Purple and yellow. Purple and yellow. What if I made another I'll batch? Purple. purple, how about you do yellow? But well, what if I made another batch of blue and I combined them? You blue. could make a giant batch of blue. Ooh, I may do that because I love this so much. Poor bunny. You are so silly, girl. So I guess that's the good thing about Play-Doh. You can create something and destroy it and create something again and destroy it again. And this one, you can eat too. You making purple, Maya? Yeah. So five peeps? One, two, three, four. Three tablespoons of cornstarch, two teaspoons of coconut oil. Put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. You looking for food, Sandy? Are you looking for food? I'm sorry, there's only peeps in here. I don't think you'd like peeps. I don't think you'd like peeps. <laughs> you want peeps? Ooh, purple peeps. Oh, that was hot in the morning. So sometimes it's kind of tricky to stir. We're discovering it's just easier to get your hands in there and start kneading it. But keep in mind, if you are using food coloring, you're going to have colorful hands for a few days. It does taste better than peeps on there. Maybe it's the coconut oil you put in there. Pretty good. <laughs> All right, since no one's made yellow peep play yet, I'm gonna take on the yellow. Ooh. Are you already microwaving another batch, Addy? Yeah, my third batch of blue. Your third batch of blue? I want it. I want it to fit the, the biggest Ziploc bag, a Ziploc bag we have. You're gonna have, ooh, this is a little warm still. I know, that's what happens. Ooh, do be careful. It can be a little bit warm out of the microwave. Mine's really warm. Here's mine. Suck 
All right, I think my yellow Play-Doh turned out pretty close to the yellow colored peeps. And taste test time. Pretty good. What color are you gonna do? We have yellow, blue, purple, and pink. We couldn't find any green peeps. I think they make green peeps, maybe they don't. What if we took the yellow peeps but you added that lime green food coloring to it? Let me see what color they turn out to be. You wanna try that? Yeah. Let's do it. That's what I like about food coloring, is like if you mix colors, it's fun to see what color you Mm hmm. This is our first year celebrating Easter in Nashville. We need to find some new traditions to do out here. Back in Phoenix, we did an Easter egg hunt with our neighborhood. It was a really elaborate, big, fun thing. And this year we need to find some other fun things to do. I saw an idea um, about doing a glow-in-the-dark Easter egg hunt at nighttime. What do you think of that? Yes! Would that be fun? Yes. I thought that sounded super fun. So maybe we'll have to make that be one of our new Easter traditions. Yes, please. <laughs> that sounds fun to you? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Yes! What about any other Easter traditions we should do? Do you girls I have any ideas? I'm okay. gonna do the golden egg hunt, what we did in Arizona. It's like, you look for eggs, but you have to look for the golden egg one. And in the golden egg one, you could like, at a booth where you're at, we, someone would turn in the golden egg, and then you get like, a chocolate bar or a candy or a toy. So what if we did Maya a glow in the dark and golden egg hunt in one? Ooh, yes. Oh. So we could go out at night, hunt for glow in the dark Easter eggs, and then one of them would be a golden Easter egg, and if you found that, you got an extra prize. Yes. I think that'd be a fun tradition. I love that color, Maya. It is so pretty. I did read in the directions that this Play-Doh is meant to be used once and then discarded. So you probably don't want to put it away in containers and bring back it a couple months later and I especially wouldn't eat it a couple months later. our Pete's Play-Doh recipe was a success. It turned out really well, the consistency was great, the colors were beautiful, and the taste was pretty darn good too. Thanks for watching Tic Tac Toy, XOXO, 